the target, Malchus Williams, when it comes to how you meet the kids. <laughs> Hello, Shelley. Nice to meet you. Well, hello. I'm Sergeant Williams with the Aspen Police Department, Malchus, uh, and I see some familiar faces in here. Well, not, and this is kind of an exciting time for you. You know, there's been some miracles that have happened over time because of uh, people peacefully uh, demonstrating what they think is right, and, and that's what you're doing here. And so this is a big step, and you're learning a lot today, and you're teaching a lot today. So this is a big day, and I'm glad that I can be here and help you guys out with this. Literally help us out. <laughs> <laughs> so how did you guys want to... We have a little bit more time together. We'll probably make sure everybody has their little patches on. Do we have like three bucks of kids? Yeah, we do. We have a little bit more time together. We'll probably make sure everybody has their little so let's see what we have here. Leonardo the Terrible Monster. Boy, he looks pretty terrible, huh? Yeah, oh, let's see here. Let's go back a little bit. I'm skipping. Leonardo was a terrible monster. He couldn't scare anyone. didn't have 1,642 teeth like Tony. So Tony was the one that I thought was really scary. He wasn't big like Eleanor. That's pretty big. You can get him in the picture. He, was, he wasn't just plain weird like Hector. <laughs> Kind of reminding me of Monsters Incorporated. Leonardo tried very hard to be scary, but he just wasn't. So you can see him try all his antics there. Leonardo researched until he found the perfect candidate. So look at all those books he went through. Yes. Can you hold a sign? Hold a sign? Why do you come out with us? Well, I'm going to come out with you, but I can't hold a sign. <laughs> <laughs> you can see, when I'm on duty, I'm representing the city of Ashton. I can't represent Mount Display. <laughs> so, I can't keep it sign. But thanks for the invite. But anyway. So, um, who here has a favorite book? Oh, right back in the corner. You are the fastest. What's your favorite book? He says, in my long life, maybe I just read it today. What is that? Uh, Captain, Captain Underpants. <laughs> well, there's one I never heard of. <laughs> you never know what you might learn at the library. Yes? I have a, um, a book on reading that's pretty good. A book on reading? I'm still reading. Oh, that you're reading. Okay. Um, it's the uh, Golden Compass, and it's a series. The series is... Um, I think you're not alone. <laughs> <laughs> so, how do you feel about being called in to uh, help with this event? Well, I was actually glad I was picked, because this is a chance for, for people to, to learn how to get their point across without being um, aggressive, without being violent. And so I think it's a pretty valuable lesson for kids to learn how to do it. In our city, in our community here, we have a lot of different people that have uh, points of view they want heard. And we absolutely want them to have that, that opportunity as long as we aren't harming somebody else through doing that. Excuse me, the kids made that for you. That you'd be able <laughs> That's to come out with you, them with that. <laughs> Do you, have a person, do you have a personal opinion on the library's closing? Well, you'd have to ask me that off-duty. <laughs> but I, I respect your question. Does everybody want to take a deep breath and say goodbye to the library for right now? Yeah. Just for a minute. Yeah. Just for a minute. 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 Just for a minute
see you soon. You guys ready to do this? Thank <laughs> you.